Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Thursday, September 6th, 2018. Welcome back to the show. I would like to take the beginning to ask Google why the fuck you keep trying to fix things that aren't broken. My Chrome went haywire today, all of my quick links disappeared and then reappeared looking uglier than before, and I don't know why Google keeps trying to do this. Anyway, enough about that. Timestamps and reference links for all stories today can be found in the description. Today's story broke early this morning as an earthquake has hit Hokkaido, Japan. As such, the Nintendo Direct that was originally scheduled for today has been permanently postponed as millions of Japanese citizens in the area are without power. Reports say the earthquake measured 6.7 on the Richter scale has left 8 people dead, at least 30 people missing, and more than 200 injured. Nintendo has not indicated when they will reschedule, but obviously that doesn't matter in comparison. If you're in the area, please seek safe shelter. My heart goes out to the families who have lost loved ones. I hope things can return to normal as soon as possible. Moving on from there, we have a free weekend for The Division being hosted on PC through Uplay. Pretty sure a lot of you heard that last word and went, oh, damn, next time. On to release announcements with Surgeon Simulator coming to Nintendo Switch on September 13th, and unlike other versions, it will feature motion controls and a co-op mode. Then we have a stereotyping controller with the Australian branch of Doritos coming up with this gaudy-looking Xbox One controller. What's somewhat nice is if you need this sort of thing, it has an anti-grease coating. So if you're a gamer that works on heavy machinery or automotive, this would be perfect for you. However, Doritos is not selling them and is only producing 200, which they're giving away through their Facebook page. Other than the color scheme, which is just... Just dreadful. This really isn't a terrible idea in my opinion, and let me know what you think of it too, please. Moving on to update news with Fortnite, still the hottest game in the world right now, getting a patch with a new mode called Getaway, which is basically Capture the Flag. Of course, this update also includes more cosmetics and re-adds the Grappler. Here's one that totally isn't clickbait at all. Bloodborne is now finally playable on PC without the use of an emulator. So then, Dandruff, what's the catch? Ah, you got me! It's only available through PlayStation Now. The service is 10 US dollars a month, or $100 a year, which gives you access to over 600 games, some of which are exclusive to the PS4, now playable on your PC. So, this may not count in your eyes, and it doesn't to me either, but it's still nice to see. Then, unfortunately, we have news of Carbine Studios, the makers of the game Wildstar, shutting down. This comes after a rocky history, and the studio having been founded by former Blizzard employees. Wildstar is still available on Steam, and I'm not sure how long it is, before the game shuts down completely. Finally today, let's further drive my subscriber count down into the Mariana Trench by talking about Valve and their policies once again. We have talked about Valve in the last few months, rolling out some changes for adult games, and it seems those changes have now become reality. Instead of the previous three, you will now have up to 10 game tags to hide from your view. Personally, I think because of the way the tag system is implemented, this may not work out the way intended, but we shall see. Valve also mentions how they have added developer pages so you can find games from a developer you like and even get notifications when they release a new game. And here's where everyone says Dandruff supports censorship because Valve also says that they get to define what games are trolling and what games are not. You know, curation! The thing that I fucking wanted the whole fucking time! To quote Ali Welsh of Eurogamer, yes, creators have a right to free speech to make games on any topic they like, as transgressive and offensive as the law allows, but they do not have a right to publish these games on Steam. For Valve to confuse these two things is a diluted fallacy. Meaning that if you want to make a game whose sole purpose is just to offend people, you have that right, but Valve also has a right to not sell your game. Valve says trolls are figuring out ways to be loathsome as we write this, but the thing these folks have in common is they aren't actually interested in good faith efforts to make and sell games to you or anyone. When the developer's motives aren't that, they're probably a troll. And I agree, if you just want to piss people off or make a quick dollar, then you won't be welcome on Steam. They say there is, quote, still plenty of work to do, something I feel is an understatement. And even though we haven't seen the long-term or the short-term effects of these changes, this is going to be an ongoing problem because of how big Valve has gotten. What do you think of the new changes to Steam? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Oh boy, it's that time again, time for tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Frog Out, Tanks with Hands, Armed and Shredded, City Blocks, NASCAR Heat 3, and Monster Farm. For PlayStation 4, Marvel's Spider-Man, Immortal, Unchained, SNK Heroines, Tag Team Frenzy, NBA 2K19, NBA Live 19, NASCAR Heat 3, and Siggy, A Fart for Melusina. For Xbox One, Immortal, Unchained, NBA 2K19, NBA Live 19, NASCAR Heat 3, Kingsguard TD, Dead Age, Shalnor Legends, Sacred Lands, and Siggy, A Fart from Lucina. 
for a Nintendo Switch, SNK Heroines, Tag Team Frenzy, NBA 2K19, Siggy, A Fart for Melusina, Full Blast, Mummy Pinball, and Super Inefficient Golf. For Nintendo 3DS, Yokai Watch Blasters, Red Cat Core, and Yokai Watch Blasters, White Dog Squad. And for PlayStation Vita, Siggy, a fart from Lucina. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And Schrodinger took his cat to the vet. The vet said, I have good news and I have bad news. It's okay, it's okay, just don't look at it, or it'll change everything. Click over here to watch yesterday's episode, which was about Bioware, saying Anthem won't have any influence over their future titles. That link is in the description down below, and click over here to subscribe to my wonderful, wonderful channel. Thank you, see you tomorrow for Friday, Bye bye